Hello guys, let's implement the phase lock loop in MATLAB. But before implementing, we should know some basics about the phase lock loop. So what is a phase lock loop? Actually, phase lock loop just lock the phase of incoming signals. And it will lock the phase of incoming signal and will generate the output signal. A phase lock loop is a control system that generates an output signal whose phase is related to the phase of incoming signals. The output signal phase will be exactly related to the incoming signal. That is the main principle behind it. Now let's some discuss the parts and the some basic concept. We will use the voltage control oscillator. Here is a voltage control oscillator, a filter, a low pass filter and then we have a detector which is actually a multiplier. So what is a voltage, voltage control oscillator? A voltage control oscillator is an electronic oscillator whose, whose frequency is changed by the incoming input voltage. N note that we will change the input voltage and the frequency will be changed accordingly. Then we have a phase detector. What it will do? It will just multiply the incoming signal and the signal generated by the voltage control oscillator. Then after that we will reject the higher frequency terms from the or phase difference signal which will uh, pass through the low pass filter. Now we are done with the basic concepts. Some major applications we have we will use PLL for the frequency demodulation we will use PLL for the amplitude demodulation and the most important one is the synthesize of a signal. But in this video, we will just implement PLL for the FM demodulation of a signal. Now let's move to the simulation diagram. Here I have opened my MATLAB simulating file. Here what I am doing is, up in this part, this part perform my frequency modulation and this is my PLL part. After the after that, before the, here I am for in my scope I am getting the incoming signal, the uh, frequency modulated signal and the output signal are the frequency demodulated signal which I am getting by uh, through PLL. So this is my frequency modulation which is I perform in the earlier video. You can go through this to that video. Now let's go to the PLL part. The in PLL we have the matrix multiplier which is exactly the phase detector or multiply it will multiply the voltage control signal to the frequency modulated signal then we have a low pass filter now let me click on its properties this I, I made its third order low pass filter and its frequency is ex exactly the same with the incoming uh, sign uh, or reference signal let me click on the sign signal as well so that it can be reconstruct easily. The frequency is 2, amplitude is 1 and sampling time is 1 divided by 1000, right? Now, then we, I multiply again a constant, an integrator, a 2 pi, a cos function and again up to. You can easily get these parts from MATLAB simulating uh, library. Then we have a voltage control oscillator. Now let me click on it so that it can easily be construct reconstruct i made the uh, amplitude is one the running free running pre running frequency it is 20 which is according to this constant value and i made the sensitivity input is 10 divided by 2 by which is exactly to this signal and i give a shift of 5 by 2 now let's run this symbolic for a time of 10 and see the result my first signal should be incoming uh, message signal the second should be a uh, frequency modulated signal and the third one should be the PLL uh, demodulated signal let me click on it here it is this is my frequency modulated signal and this is, this is my original signal this is my frequency modulated signal whose fre frequency is high when upper or higher uh, part is occur and for the lower side I have a lower frequency now I am getting my original signal through PLL but note that at the beginning the, the phase difference is quite high so I am not getting my original signal exactly the same but after some time when the phase difference get reduced I am exactly getting my uh, original signal as shown in the figure so that was it for the today's tutorial thank you so much